Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me again for another painting tutorial today. I'm using the following colors. I may add a few more and be sure to look below this video for a full list of the colors I'm using today in the description box. I've got 11 by 14 double primed and stretched canvas. I've got cerulean blue, bright aqua green, turquoise, uh, blue turquoise, light olive green, neon pink, some neon yellow, titanium white, and Mars black. So I'm gonna paint uh, butterfly and just make up the colors make up my own kind of butterfly so I'm gonna let you guys um, follow along with me step by step and be sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a like and leave a comment or a question below if you have one so if you guys are ready let's go ahead and get started I'm just gonna start by covering the background in a very loose and fun way and I'm gonna be taking white with, I'm using a number 50 brush, but it doesn't matter. You can use any brush that you want just for covering the background. And my blue and my yellow. So I've got blue turquoise here, light olive green, and white. Now make sure you add extra white if you don't want your painting to dry too dark, because acrylic does do that. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush to help blend that paint around and work it out of my brush. Get all those edges. Now, if you want more of a bokeh effect, you can kind of just take your brush, twist, swirl around, and create little circles. You can use mop brushes for this too, fan brushes. Okay, it just gives you that blurry background out of focus and helps to draw your eyes uh, in and focus more on the butterfly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dry this off, and then we'll start coming in with a basic shape of our butterfly. And I'm going to come in with some black. I'm using number four filbert brush still. A little bit of water on my brush and I'm going to start the wings from here this is where the body starts so we go up in an arch all the way up just before we hit the top of the canvas This is just the one wing on the other side that we're not going to see a lot of. And then start our second wing right in front. So I'll get a little bit more black and water on my brush. And I'll go over these lines again just to find them a little bit better. Okay, and then I'm going to take some more black and we'll start coming in with sort of a, thinking of a swallowtail on an angle. Two lines on an angle like this. And then just paint it in. And then Leave about an inch and a half. Add another one that's a little bit wider, or you can uh, make it smaller if you want. And this one I'm going to make a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to have sort of a Y. out like this and then 
a little line across here and one right there. Add a line here and one right here. Now we're going to start the other wing. It's going to come out further. And that one, load my brush up again with more water and black. You can scoop, scoop, scoop. Start bringing those scoops in. So you want to bring it down. I bring this one out a little bit further. Do you see what I'm doing here? Bringing it down, down. Start to come in at an angle like this. Then the same line it comes there. And then we're going to follow this pattern, bring it down here with a slight arch. Just to here, we're going to leave a blank space here. and then just paint it in black and then this one I'm wiggling my brush just because it has more of a pattern that kind of goes side to side and then right in here I'm going to scoop and paint that in black. Okay, and then we've got this one. It's going to come out just to about here. Gonna add some lines. One that comes up here. So we've sort of got a V shape in here. And then just start pulling like that. And then just a little one maybe off the edge like that. And then scoop, scoop, and then around that way. A little bit more black and we're going to come right in here leaving a space here those are going to be there's going to be kind of a lighter highlight in there okay now we'll work on the bottom wing I'm just going to bring this, start from here, lightly, kind of sweep up a little bit, right here, scoop, 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 and like a little raindrop shape, and the shape of the filler brush is excellent for that. 
So again, down, scoop, 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 scoop. Scoop, scoop, up. Slightly curved in this way. Kind of rounded. And that scoop. Okay, so I'm going to continue with this black pattern here. And make it really narrow. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. A little bit more black. Tight little wiggle, sliding my brush side to side and then wider. We're going to come right in here. Connect those. Bring it down into a point. Okay, and now I'll add the thinner lines. If you want to switch over to a liner brush at this point, feel free to do that or a round brush. Okay, I'm going to scoop down here. Lots of scoops. <laughs> I'm just going to take these little lines off. I'm going to push a little bit of this black out. I want to have a little bit more room in here to play around with color. I'm just going to make this a little bit narrower. Okay, now I can work on the body. So it kind of is like a banana shape down here. It's a little pointy, but kind of rounded. A round sort of a point like that. And then a little line here where the wing starts straight across. And then circle. I'm going to add some black in here from the bottom. Little wiggles and squiggles. And right in here as well. We'll create a little Y, just like that. Inside that, just a little bit of black there. And I have the antenna. A little Y 
highlighter on the tips. And then with a clean, damp brush, I'll come in really close and sweep some of that off to make them thinner. I'm going to dry this off and then start coming in with my colors. Okay, so it's all dry. I'm going to take my white and some pink and I'm going to start coming in with some little scoops in here, placing my pinky down like this because it makes it a lot easier. And again, using the filbert brush because it's got that shape that we want. We're leaving space and then adding another little scoop. So two scoops with a black in between. And I'm just going to come and tap inside the black or you can kind of do the sliding side to side quick wiggles. This off right down there. I'm add a little bit more in here. It's all going to dry a little bit darker too. I'm going to use more pink than white now. And just slightly, slightly go over and inside those black areas. In these bigger areas you can kind of just like pull your brush side to side but wherever they're smaller you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful So you don't have to cover up all the black completely. It's nice to have a little bit of that black for some really dark contrast. But yeah, the pink, this pink is going to dry a little darker. If you want the pink to stay 
this bright, you'll have to add a little bit of um, white to it. Okay, I'm gonna go back in, mix up some white with that pink again. Then I'll come in here, scoop. Come in the other way. I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker in here. So come in, twist and turn. Use a little bit of that yellow. just dab a little bit in there this is the yellow I'm using today guys it's luminous lemon by Holbein I've got a link below for those paints going to add a little bit of that peachy color. A little bit more of the white and the yellow. And just catch the edge right there. Dab, dab, dab. I'm going to take some of my yellow, turquoise, white, and I'm going to add a little bit in here. In between. I'm still leaving a little bit of that blue background color.
I'll take a little bit more of my white, yellow. I'm gonna come right down here and then bring this over. Add another little scoop in here. Really, really play with your colors and have fun. Adding as many as you like. be a little bit more generous here with my yellow but I'm gonna add a bit of white to it too so it dries a nice bright buttery yellow so I'm just adding it inside so I still have all those other colors I'm leaving a little bit of each color there that I left off with You can still see the turquoise and you can still see the blue. Okay, I'm going to come in with more pink. I'm going to add just a little bit of white to this because I want to make sure it dries nice and bright. I'm going to come in and go slightly over these little lines that I have for the pattern. Even add a little bit to the antenna. And then add a little bit to the end, the tail there. Okay, I'm going to take some of my blue, pink, and a little bit of black. And I'm just going to outline some areas in here and add a little bit more contrast.
a little line here. A little line right there. Let's take some blue. Just add a little bit of purple in here with the, that blue over the pink will make a nice purple. black, blue, turquoise. And just dab a little bit in there. Take a little bit more, whoops. A bit more pink. We'll be adding a little flower as well somewhere over here. Now if you guys want to see uh, more realistic swallowtail butterfly painting tutorial start to finish. I've got that as well here on my channel. So be sure to have a look. I'll try to remember to leave um, a link below for that. But I've got a whole playlist of birds, animals, butterflies. Yeah, pink right down in here. Okay, so I'm going to just continue using this little brush and uh, add a flower. Well, I've, I'm just looking at the colors that I've got here already, so I think that I could use some pink and some yellow and make a little circle here. Then I'll take some white, mix that up with those colors, the pink and the yellow again, and uh, highlight and just tap, tap, tap for all those little spots. I'm leaving the center of it dark because it kind of goes in. Okay, 
okay then I'm just going to use white and just kind of go in an arch shape Kind of press wiggle. Take that out so I can see it a little bit better. Use a little bit of water as well, just to make the first layers of these petals a little bit more thin. Then I'll go back for a little weight. I was thinking of maybe adding a little bit of yellow, but I don't think I'm going to. Some more paint this time. And you can layer over. It looks better if they're layered over, then you get that more of a 3D look. Add another highlight. And then I think I'll paint another one down here. So I have that orange center again. Well, the center of the flower coming up a little bit higher here. You can just paint whatever flowers you want, as many as you want, or just one.
paint a green stem. My light olive green, blue turquoise, and a little bit of black. Add a little bit of green to the center of the flower. I'll just add a little bit of green to that pinky color. And layer some over the rest here. We'll just keep building up layers by adding more white. And I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna make another one right here. that greenish color again that I mixed with my pink down inside here and just make this a little bit a little bit darker in the center of this flower a little smaller Dried it off, and I'm going to come in with another layer. Push, let off, push, let off.
just put a little bit more turquoise in here. That actually just look really soft and sort of impressionistic in this flower area. I'm just taking a little bit of white with white olive green, blue turquoise, and bright aqua green. With that white, I can get a really nice mixture of different turquoises. And sort of a pretty layered effect here of different bluey green, green tones. And then I'll add a few little legs for our butterfly just before we call it done. A little bit of black, still my number four filbert brush. I've used this brush throughout this painting except for the background. And we'll add one right here. Comes down. Just using the tip of my brush, not a lot of pressure. You can use straight black if you want. I'm just using the blue, pink, black mixture. And then I'll add another one right here. A bit more black and blue in here. Okay, well this was really really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and want to paint along. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!